I'm Wally Amos. Read It Loud is a foundation that creates awareness about the benefits, the values, and the importance of parents, adults, reading aloud to children from birth to age six for at least 10 minutes a day. If you do that, you will have a reader. The idea is not just to learn to read, but to have a thirst for words, a love for reading. Reading aloud works. It's been working for generations, and it works today. Read it loud! Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. This is called Looney Little. Looney Little. I never read Looney Little before. I hope it's fun. Looney Little. The author is Diana Hutz Aston. Illustrator is Kelly Murphy. Candlewick Press. They are the publishers. On a cold summer night, when the Arctic sun was shining brightly, a drop of water fell, plop, on little Looney's head. Great top of the world, she wailed. The polar ice cap is melting. I must go tell the polar bear queen. Little Looney flew northward as fast as she could. On a high cliff, she met Dovekey Lovekey. Where are you going, Looney Little? asked Dovekey Lovekey. The polar ice cap is melting, and I'm going to tell the polar bear queen, replied Looney Little. Oh, goodness glacier, squawked Dovey Lovekey. Why is the ice cap melting? I will come with you and ask the polar bear queen. The two flew, flew, flew northward as fast as they could until they spied Puffin Muffin floating in the sea. Where are you going? asked Puffin Muffin. Who? Oh, the polar ice cap is melting and we're going to tell the polar bear queen, replied Looney Little and Dovekey Dovekey. Suffering puffer lumps, screeched Puffin Muffin. If the ice cap is melting, will the sea rise? I will come with you and ask the polar bear queen. The three swam along until they met Harry Clary on the shore. Where are you going? asked Harry Clary. The polar ice cap is melting, and we're going to tell the polar bear queen, replied Looney Little, Dovey Lovekey, and Puffin Muffin. Leaping lemmikins, snuffed. Harry Carey, if the ice cap is melting, will my den be flooded? I will come with you and ask the polar bear queen. So they all scooted and waddled and hopped northward until they met Seely Sally coming up for a breath of air. Where are you going? asked Seely Sally. Ah, the polar ice cap is melting, and we're, we're going to tell the polar bear queen, replied Looney Little, Dovekey Lovekey, Puffin Muffin, and Honey Clary. Be careful, barked Seely Sally. The polar bear queen ate my cousin just last week. She will eat all of you, too. Silly Sally slipped back in the sea. Oh, dear, wailed Looney Little. Oh, 
my, squawked Dovkey Lovkey. Oh, no! <laughs> Screech Puffin Muffin. Let's not tell the polar bear queen, snuffed Harry Harry. <laughs> Just then, Foxy Loxy appeared. Where are you going in such a rush? He asked. We were going to see the polar bear queen, said Looney Little. To tell her the ice cap is melting, said Dovey, 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 Lovey. But, but, Silly Sally told us the polar bear queen is, is dangerous, said Puffin Muffin. So, we're turning back, said Harry Carey. Oh, no, please don't turn back, said Foxy Loxy. Not without delivering such important news. But the polar bear queen might eat us, wailed Looney Little. No, she won't, said Foxy Loxy. Not if I escort you. Come, I will take you to her. Should we be trusting Foxy Loxy? What do you think? No. Think it's a trap? Could be. I mean, here's a fox, you know. What did the fox actually say? Huh? What did the fox actually maybe say? Maybe the fox is going to eat them. Yeah? As soon as Looney Little, Dovekey Lovekey, Puffkin Muffkin, and Harry Carey followed Foxy Loxy, and, and so Looney Little, Dovekey Lovekey, Puffin Muffin, and Harry Carey Followed Foxy Loxy. But Looney Little, who couldn't waddle or hop as well as the others, fell behind. Wait, wait for me, cried Looney Little, tripping over something in the snow. Stop! Stop! We have been tricked! That's Foxy Loxy's lair. And, and lair means home. That, that's Foxy Loxy's cave. He's going to eat us! Thinking quickly, she pecked a nugget of ice from the ground and flung it at Foxy Loxy. It hit him Squarely on the head. Great midnight sun! Oh, Foxy Loxy. The polar ice cap is melting. I must go tell the polar bear queen. In a blur of fur, he was gone. Foxy Loxy found the polar bear queen sprawled flat near a hole in the ice waiting for Sealy Sally to come up for air. Quick, run for your life, shouted Foxy Loxy. The polar ice cap is melting. How awful, roared the polar bear queen. Tell me more after dinner. And she ate Foxy Loxy. Oh, oh indeed. Soon the four friends were safe on a southerly course. Wow, 
the polar bear queen is dangerous, said Harry Carey. And she doesn't seem to care about the ice cap melting, said Puffin Muffin. I guess we'll have to someone, we'll have to find someone who will care, said Dovekey Lovekey. Like, like who? Ask Looney Little. I don't know. Who were they ask? Who cares? There's a lot of people. You know, this book was written, um, I think, to bring attention to global warming. Yeah. It was. Because it, today's scientists are studying conditions in the Arctic, trying to find out whether changes in the polar cap in the polar ice cap are natural or as a result of global warming caused by humans. So there are a lot of people that don't believe that the global warming is affecting the Earth and the North Pole. So that book, you know, is, is kind of like telling everybody this, it could be true. And we need to really look at it and treat it as if it is true because if it is, then we don't make some adjustments in saving the planet, then we could all be in a lot, a lot of trouble. Thanks for reading, guys. Thanks for being a great audience. Bye-bye. <laughs>